But what I want most for people to know is that they can do it, that they can put the effort in step by step and be able to learn this medium. And honestly, you're gonna build confidence and you're gonna feel success and you're gonna to wanna to do even more. And I'm here to help you along the way. When did you know that you wanted to turn a hobby into something more? That's a good question. Okay, good, I'm glad. Um, so I've always enjoyed being creative and making art, but I kind of went away from it for a little while to explore other things. And, and uh, actually a couple of years ago when the pandemic hit is when I actually had time to sit there and think about what do I really want to do? And I just kept coming back to art and, and I found that when I was painting and doing the things that I enjoyed, that it just made, it just made my life better. And I thought, you know what, I wanna pursue this. I'm gonna keep going. Pursue it and share it, right? Yeah, That's awesome. exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Why not? Yeah, what a yeah. great way to invest your time too. <laughs> That's excellent. So have you done similar things to this in the past? I have taught um, like paint classes to maybe people at church. And I've done a couple in my home that, by request. Um, and enjoy doing that. I also, I did teach a couple, like a small class of kids too, for art class one, one summer and enjoyed fun. doing that too. Yeah, like That's I've done fun. a little bit, yeah. Cool. And I've, I have a background in teaching as, um, as far as like elementary education. I okay. was a teacher, like a school teacher. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's fun. We're gonna have to delve into that at some point <laughs> too. Get some more details on that. What, uh, so what kind of, in preparation for this, what kind of research did you do for this? A lot, actually. Yeah? Yeah, because, you know, I wanted to make sure that I found things that people would enjoy, and I wanted to make sure that I found things that also were true to me, what I enjoyed painting as well. And so I just spent a lot of time looking through um, and trying to find inspiration photos and also colors and, and, and trying to decide, like, what, what would be, what would work the best for this. Yeah, and, and more meaningful. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But Excellent. like a lot, a lot of research actually. Really? Yeah, but I enjoy it. So good. It was good. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, well, yeah, it's, it's not, it's when not you working. get to research something that you already enjoy. <laughs> exactly. You know, it means more to you. Yeah. That's awesome. So, what has in uh, in in this path that you're on currently? What has been the biggest challenge? I think the biggest challenge is. Um, Honestly, it's probably just second guessing myself and wanting to be perfect and wanting everything to just, you know, I, you know, I make samples and I just wanted to make more and more and keep getting it right. And finally I just said, you know, that's, that's good. You know, I don't have to keep, keep going. It's yeah. good. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And honestly, that's something that I want to teach also. I want people to know, you know what, don't worry about perfection. It's about the experience and making sure that you are having a good time and learning. Right. And yeah. it's actually, it's not a bad thing to, um, to recognize that you have self-doubt and say, hey, you're not the only one, you're not alone. No, not at all. I think that's all. gonna be yeah. super helpful. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. And you're great, Lori. Well, thank you, you Keenan. You, you know what, you're great. Thank you. You are too, Keenan. Thanks, yeah. stop it. <laughs> so what do you love most about painting? One, I love playing with color. Honestly, like sometimes I don't even care what I'm painting. I just want to play with color. I just want to mix and just look at it and, and enjoy it also. Um, a lot of times it brings me a feeling of peace and like I'm, it's kind of just a nice place to be, just painting and just relaxing and not thinking about anything else. Yeah, that, that's I mean, what I love about it. Painting is very relaxing. So I, it is I usually, you yeah, should, if you're yeah. like calm about it right. and not putting too much pressure on yourself. Yeah, yeah. Have a little intention behind it. Yes. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe yeah, it's just sure. get it out. Yeah, I do okay. that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> so then for the, the viewers. What do you think the best outcome will be for them? From, from would, this experience, what do you think the best outcome will be? Yeah, no, that's a good question. I would like the viewers to feel like they can do it. I want them to feel encouraged, to just try, be brave, and I want them to have success, you know, and, and understand that success can look different for different people. Like it can be, celebrate the small victories. I love that. And then continue, realize that you're going to continue to grow if you keep at it. That's Absolutely. what I want them to know. They can, they can do it, totally. So, so with that then too, what are some common hurdles uh, that you're hoping to help people overcome during the, these tutorials? Another good question. Okay, thank you. I think... Maybe one of the hurdles that people might have is 
um, not even knowing where to start, you know, Ooh, not even yeah. feeling like I, maybe they want to start, but they don't know how, or they, they're afraid to. And so I think that um, hopefully this program that we're creating can give them that confidence to say, you know what, I'm going to try this. I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to get over this hurdle and I'm going to, and I'm going to keep going. And then I think also another hurdle is that maybe they compare or look what, what other people are doing or they see, they think that their art should be, you know, a certain level. right. Sure, like yeah. Monet, you right, know, right. when they're just beginning and just to have patience with yourself and, and remember that it builds over time. You know, I always That's say like, awesome. what's the difference between a beginner and a professional artist? I think it's just time and practice. Like thousands that's the only of difference. Paintings. Huh? Thousands, thousands of paintings. Thousands of paintings, just painting sure. All the time, yeah. Or hundreds, maybe. Or hundreds, you know, sure. Like, yeah, not a thousand. Never know. A lot, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> so then, for us viewers, tell us why acrylic? What about this medium speaks to you? And what are you hoping it sparks in the rest of us? I love acrylic, one, because it dries quickly, and I like to work fast, and I like to add lots of layers. Acrylic is also a fairly forgiving medium, you know, like you can make a mistake and not like it and guess what? Dry it, let it dry, paint over it, no worries. I, I absolutely love that about it. I love all the different mediums that you can add to your acrylic paint to get lots of different textures. Um, I think people will really enjoy that. And also they can explore mark making, which is one of my favorite things to do is to add whether it's chalk pastels or other markers or things like that that you can add on top of your paintings to give extra interest and detail and texture. texture. Yes, I think, those, I think it's a really um, accessible medium that people should give, give it a try. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, you were actually showing me earlier today in the studio uh, new things that I had never seen before. Yeah. And the, the mark point that you were mentioning, what yes. did you call it? Uh, scratching into the it. Scratching into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That texture adding, I hadn't seen that before, and that was exhilarating. <laughs> so I'm very excited. That sparked some interest in me for sure. That's great. So then, what do you enjoy the most about teaching? Ooh. I enjoy sharing what I know and helping other people to get to a point that they feel like they know more, right? So sharing the knowledge that I have that they can, and they can have, they can get to the point where they know more and they feel more confident. I like to see people succeed. And so how can I break it down into steps that help them to feel like, okay, I can do this. I can accomplish this step and this step and this step and look what I did. I have a full painting, you know, and they can feel good about themselves. I enjoy that part about teaching. Lori, what or who prompted you to begin painting and what have you learned throughout your creative journey? Oh, okay. So I have to go back to my childhood a little bit because when we were younger, we would spend a lot of time at my grandma's house and she always, she was an artist in her own right. And she would always have like huge rolls of paper that she would just let us do whatever we want with and lots of, you know, art supplies that we could have at. And you know whether we were making um, like costumes for plays we were putting together, or I remember one time we made an art gallery that we put up our paintings for sale. You know, so like my grandma definitely had an influence in in, in my love of art. Um, and also as I've got as I got older, you know, I've had other family members, my sisters, uh, encouraging me to 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 do more, and uh, and that's all been a great influence for me. That's fun. Yeah. I mean, I don't know anybody that doesn't love their grandma, so that's excellent. <laughs> I love that. It's good. Okay, this is a fun question for you. How would you describe your style? I would say expressive, colorful, layered. Okay. Lots of layers. So then when you are, when, when, when viewers are looking at your art, what do you hope that they're going to feel? I want them to feel happy or peaceful of some sort, enjoy. I want them to look at it and want to look at it for a while oh. and, and just kind of look and see all the different little details and, like that. and hopefully it'll just do something for them positively. Yeah. That's all I can help really. That's great. Yeah. No, I love that. I love looking at your art. All of your art is hanging on the wall behind you and it's 
makes me feel peaceful for sure. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> where do you, and we've talked about this today too, which is great. I love this question. Where do you draw your inspiration? What helps you, to, what, what helps to spark your desire to paint? That's actually a really good question because sometimes the inspiration isn't necessarily there and you have to kind of find it or you just have to paint anyway. And then the inspiration tends to come. So like sometimes the motivation comes after the initial effort, like the inspiration comes after that. But in general for me, like nature, I love flowers, obviously. <laughs> and um, skies, I love looking at the skies. I, I'm always taking pictures of, of skies. Um, and that definitely inspires me. Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. Clouds are an ever Clouds, yes. Yeah. I've seen Sunrise Mufasa and sunset. once or twice. Yeah, Mufasa. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, that's excellent. <laughs> cool. So then what after, so after today, mm -hmm. what comes next? Is there going to be, um, are you planning a beginner series? I, we, ha we are. <laughs> Funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> yes, we are going to have an acrylic beginner series, which will c kind of create a nice foundation for you if you want to paint with acrylics. Um, and then we are putting together a, an acrylic starter box, Excellent. which I, I feel like it's got a nice variety in it where you can kind of sample a few things cool. and, and have some success step by step going through some projects. Sweet. Yeah. But yes, we are doing all of those things. That's extremely <laughs> exciting. Awesome. Okay, well, I don't have any more questions. Lori, you're so great. Well, thank you, Keenan. You're yeah, great. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for joining me today. I love your paintings. We're so excited to have you as part of Let's Make Art family. And we're so excited to have you, you know, creating an entire product slash project plan for us that we can succeed with you. Well, thank you. I'm happy to have the opportunity. Yeah. Yay. Great. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. The acrylic starter box is a great place to start, right? So you've got everything that you need in the box to create many, many projects, and I'm so excited for you to try it. You're gonna learn how to mix colors beyond the basics. So you'll be able to mix darks and neutrals and everything, everything under the sun. You're also gonna learn how to paint loosely and use bold colors and just have fun and be free and not worry about the end result. You're also gonna be able to put together, I'll show you a little sneak peek, this landscape, um, creating texture and expressive strokes, and I hope that you'll enjoy it.